Okay, so for today's video, we are going to do another room tour. It's going to be a little bit more special because today I'm going to give you guys a private tour of my bedroom. Let's jump into it, guys. Okay, guys, so here is how we are going to approach this whole room tour thing. So we're going to go clockwise from the door all the way around the room and then Last thing we are going to explore is that, that bed area up there. So my room has this sort of like double deck situation happening right here. I'm going to explain that later. But first things first, let's check out this first part of the room. So here in this corner, you guys could see one of my electric guitars. I have a couple of electric guitars, but I'm keeping one of them in a separate storage area. So yeah, that's it's one of my electric guitars and then here you guys could see my YouTube shelf. Why do I call it a YouTube shelf? It's called a YouTube shelf because I specifically had it built and put in this place just for a background for my YouTube videos just to make the background a little bit more interesting and stuff. I believe a bunch of creators have their own YouTube shelf. So basically what a YouTube shelf is, is a shelf that represents who you are as a creator or like manifests what kind of creator you want to be so yeah that's the youtube shelf right here okay so i'll give you guys a quick tour of the youtube shelf again from the bottom guys underneath is where i store some of the bags i seldom use moving on to the first shelf this first shelf is just empty this is where i usually put some of my tripods or things uh, that i usually use moving on to the second shelf here we go. Second shelf, you guys could see a hard drive right there, a game controller, and also this laser thing. Okay, so each of these items have a representation or have a meaning as to why they are on the shelf. This hard drive represents my passion for computers and technology and whatnot. This game controller is pretty much self-explanatory. It means that I, I love gaming. And also this thing, um, it's a gift given to me by Crystal. Here we could see the Bosch professional GL550 laser meter um, basically what that item represents is my uh, my being an architect so for those of you who don't know I am an architect so I just do this YouTube thing as a hobby because I find making videos super enjoyable and like it's it's really fun to do these videos and editing stuff and doing all the b-roll so those are mainly the things I enjoy about this whole YouTube thing so yeah I'm an architect by profession moving on on the top shelf, here we could see a movie clapper thing and a bunch of camera things. So basically what this whole shelf represents is uh, my interest in photography, cinematography, and also basically just technology in general. So, Alright, let's go. Alright, so this next level, there are a couple of things. So there are like two things here given to me by Crystal. We have this R2D2 thing, which represents my love for movies and all those motion cinematography stuff and also I, I love Star Wars and there's a rose given to me that's actually an origami rose made by Crystal again and here are some succulent plants that represent my love for plants that didn't sound weird on top of that shelf which is the final shelf is a gorilla and a super soaker which is uh, another gift given to me by Crystal so that's a gift by Crystal also that's a gift by Crystal so that was my YouTube shelf thing thing about Below the shelf, you guys could see this super comfortable sofa. And across this sofa is the TV. The whole purpose of this sofa is just for watching TV while eating a couple of fast food takeouts. You know, I, I get this table, eat my fast food takeout right here while watching my Netflix. Sounds a little bit sad, but it's, it's quite fun. Moving to the left side of the whole sofa situation, here we could see a whole console table thingy right here where I keep my remote. Underneath it is where I keep some of my tripods. Okay, right in front of this sofa situation is where I keep my whole um, technology drawer. So basically it's a drawer where I keep my technology stuff or stuff that's related to technology.
So on top of it is this janky light lamp thingy where what ow man I got grounded dang okay so as I was saying this part is like masking tape onto that so that it keeps that whole 30 degree angle thingy going on on top of the drawer is my glasses here we have a compass and we have my YouTube notebook where I keep some of my YouTube ideas so there we go okay so this top drawer is where I keep some of the things that I often use so here we have eye drops. Here's where I keep some of my Sony batteries. There we go, Sony batteries. Let's just zoom that in. Here's my unboxing knife. There we go, hard drive that I barely use. Power bank, PGY tech thing. Camera remote, batteries, you know, all the good stuff. Moving on to the next level. So this next level I'm a little bit ashamed of because everybody has this kind of drawer, you know? A drawer where you just don't even bother fixing so this is my drawer I call this part my drawer of shame so here's where I keep all of my chargers here's a charger stony charger another charger here are a bunch of wires wire ties this phone thingy for a mic and then we have a label maker which I use to label stuff super awesome moving on to the last drawer all right so this last bottom drawer is where I keep my flash gun some tripods and my shaver super awesome shaver I used that to shave my head alright guys that was my whole um, technology drawer thing moving on so right beside the technology drawer is my whole computer setup okay so right here we have a dual monitor setup which is being held up by some generic dual monitor stand which I bought in CDR King so below that you guys could see my keyboard I'm not sure what keyboard this is it's the Logitech K240 the Logitech K240 I actually broke the mouse for this so I'm using a different mouse so the mouse I've been using is the Logitech G602 right here it's a super awesome mouse especially that it has some of these side buttons which is super useful for architectural work like AutoCAD and SketchUp so just program these buttons to be like shortcuts for the some of the commands I use okay so from there I have these two lenses that I keep by my side these are a couple of lenses that I use very often first lens is the Sony 35mm f1.8 optical steady shot lens this lens is super good for b-roll and getting that shot where there's a bokeh and also this little nifty thing is super cool for photography so it's full frame focal equivalent It's like a little bit around 50 millimeters if I'm not mistaken so super good for street photography product photography and also portraiture all right so next lens that you guys could see in my table is the Samyang 12 millimeter f2 manual focus prime lens so this little lens right here if you remove that see how small that is that can fit not sure if that can fit in my mouth but it's it's really tiny so you can bring this anywhere so I use this thing mostly for architectural photography right here and also some astrophotography you guys could see here this is super useful especially that it has manual focusing and manual aperture so you don't have to be fumbling in the middle of the night turning on your like live view and messing up your night vision eyes moving on that there to the side of that is where I keep my wireless charger where I just drop my phone and then on top of that is where I keep this like where I keep this um, condenser microphone which is super useful for like gaming and stuff okay so here we have one of the most useful things that I've bought in a while which is this Bavin universal charger thingy I use this thing every day to charge some of my batteries and also my phone and all that kinds of other stuff so it's a must-have for all of you technology geeks out there or technology enthusiasts rather. Beside that thing, we have this thing which is a Vilcroc 7-inch monitor which I use as a headphone stand now but uh, most of the times it serves its purpose as some sort of monitor so I could see myself while I'm doing this um, talking headshots. So that's what I use to monitor my framing and uh, if I have some booger or some sort of tinga or 
some sort of dirt in my mouth or something beside that monitor you guys could see my whole tv situation so this thing is like a 42 42 inch tv where i watch some netflix and some youtube mostly it just serves as some sort of background noise while i'm doing architectural and video editing work right here i just turn that on also sometimes i just put a white screen saver there youtubing tip for those of you who do not have a softbox but has some sort of huge tv just put the tv in some sort of screen saver mode and just choose a plain white screen saver and there you go instant softbox thingy mo bobbins anyways moving on so on top of the tv you guys could see some of my storage thingies okay so i mounted those myself here is where i store some of the stuff more stuff there and also some stuff here's where i store my Xeon smooth q and a gorilla pod right there beside that is a hat and some of my usbs and here is one of the things that i am super super proud of is this sort of whiteboard where i attached a magnet thingy right there so when i'm not using it i'll just lift it there and then I'll just write stuff and then put it back to the right side of the tv here we could see my laptop which is a 17 inch laptop let me just open it all right so this is a 17 inch msi laptop rocking an intel i7 6700 hq it's a mouthful anyways for the mouse i use this logitech mx master this thing is super awesome for video editing especially when it had this side scroll wheel also look at that scroll wheel that thing could scroll for days guys moving on to the side here is where i keep my dry boxes so dry box one two three here's where i keep my canon lenses here's where i keep my nikon body and those are just random filters and stuff all right underneath that is my cabinets where i keep some of the architectural documentation and also some hats that i seldom use okay beside that is where i keep my clothes all right so for the purposes of this video i actually fixed this cabinet so that uh so that i could show you guys this is some of my shirts some shirts i seldom use some pants that i haven't used yet and some travel pillows you know all that stuff not so interesting moving on to the right side of that all right so right here you could see another clothes cabinet so here are the jackets that i have already used and some pants that i've already used okay so i'll be honest with you guys uh, i use some of my pants like three times or two times and then i have them washed because you know to save water depends on what kind of activity if i do some sweaty ass activity i usually just use it once but if i'm doing some mild activity like just sitting down and stuff i use pants like twice two to three times depending on the smell i'm not sure if some of you guys do that too but if you guys are doing that good on you save water save energy save the earth what i, I don't know what that was below my used pants collection is some of the bags that i use i use this awesome bobby backpack which i'm going to make a video soon of how i hacked it so that it will become some sort of camera traveling city day bag here's the backpack for that msi laptop a while ago and here's a couple of shelves where i keep my toiletries and body essential thingies also there's a goofy stuffed toy there for some reason here's my shoulder bag all right Okay, so we have finished the whole tour of the downstairs area of my bedroom so my bedroom is pretty small so i designed this whole bedroom so that i could have a bed and also an office down there so onto the bed situation thingy here we have some sort of ladder thing where you could like pull and then you just push this locking mechanism which i created so lock that up then pull this thing and then it just locks Okay, that's, that's, that's like the sturdiest thing now. So, let's go up. I can, I can climb up with one hand, guys. That's, isn't that amazing? Not really. You guys could probably do that.
Here you guys could see the bed situation. So I have a queen size bed for some reason. I don't know why. I just like large beds because I like doing the spread eagle thing like that while sleeping. I don't want my hands dangling out like so because the boogeyman might get me or some, for some weird reason like that. Anyways, that is my bed. And beside my bed, there's like a whole window that goes. You could see the outside of the house right there. There you go, let's close that. Wouldn't want to be seeing some boogeymans out there. It's gonna freak me out. Okay guys, so that was my whole bedroom tour of Leon HQ. I hope you liked this video guys. And I hope it inspired you to like decorate your bedroom and do some decorating stuff. Even though that sounds girly, decorating isn't girly guys. Take that from me, the manliest man in this room. Actually, I'm the only man in this room. If you guys like this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe down below for more architectural related videos. Like, I wouldn't call this architectural, but it somehow is. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.